On July 1, astronomers detected the third known interstellar visitor to our solar system, an object racing in at roughly 137,000 miles per hour. Cataloged as 3I Atlas, it is now threading the outskirts of the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars, a region it is expected to traverse safely. Like most comets, its speed is climbing as it descends the Sun's gravitational well. By late October 2025, projections place its peak near 152,000 miles per hour. Yet speed is only the least surprising thing about it. From the first days after discovery, 3I Atlas has lingered in the data like an unanswered question, brightening in fits and starts, defying predictions, and behaving in ways that have seasoned observers revisiting assumptions line by line. The first puzzle came with its light. In typical comets, sunlight scatters off a surrounding cloud, the coma, made of gas and dust sublimating from the nucleus. But early looks at 3I Atlas suggested the light signature was dominated by the body itself, as if the surface were doing more than passively reflecting sunshine. That tantalizing hint sparked a range of ideas. Some speculated about unusual surface reflectance, a reddish cast, and a thin dust veneer that might boost forward scattering and make the nucleus seem conspicuously luminous. Others, indulging a more provocative possibility, wondered aloud whether the object could be something artificial masquerading as natural. Most researchers kept their fraying in the middle. Noting the peculiar geometry and exotic composition could explain the appearance without invoking technology. The mystery remained, coiled inside the photometry. As the object pressed sunward, the story thickened. Its collar, initially trending red, began to shift toward a striking green, an evolution that snapped observers to attention. Many comets from our own planetary backyard glow green when they release dicarbon molecules that fluoresce in sunlight. But spectroscopy of 3I Atlas turned up a different chemistry. Elevated carbon dioxide, faint water, and traces of cyanogen and even nickel, with iron notably hard to spot. That mixture didn't map cleanly to the familiar green signature. If dicarbon wasn't abundant, then what was driving the color? One can't proposed an unknown or rarely dominant emitter. Another, more speculative voice suggested an engineered power source could be in play. For the cautious majority, the answer was simpler and thornier at once. We don't know yet. Interstellar objects may carry chemistry shaped under alien suns. Their behavior might only look wrong because our expectations are provincial. Brightness became the next chapter. 3I Atlas began at the fringe of detectability near 18th magnitude and has since climbed dramatically, lately hovering near magnitude 12, still far from naked eye visibility, but a leap that compresses months of anticipated evolution into days. The rise has not been smooth. Instead of following the well-behaved curve most comets trace as they warm, its light has arrived in bursts, sudden spikes suggestive of outgassing events. When a comet's surface fractures, sunlight could reach fresh volatile pockets and drive rapid releases of gas and dust. Astronomers call these outbursts, and they can make a comet brighten almost overnight. If internal pressures build faster than the structure can vent, chunks of the nucleus may break away. History offers a dramatic case study in Shoemaker-Levy 9, a comet torn into a string of pearls before Jupiter pulled the fragments down in 1994. The speculation, however, has not kept pace with the data by accident. As 3I Atlas approached the neighborhood of Mars, some observers noted a convergence of oddities, the color shift, the stepwise brightening, the unusually high carbon dioxide relative to water, the nickel without obvious iron. Against that backdrop, a provocative essay circulated from a well-known Harvard astronomer, arguing that the object might be technological, capable of releasing smaller probes as it passes through the inner solar system. He even floated a testable idea. Perhaps a newly discovered comet, C2025F2 Swan, was a fragment or probe shed by 3I Atlas. Follow-up work undermined that specific link. The newcomer appeared to be approaching from the opposite direction. But the author urged continued vigilance around the October 3rd passage near Mars. If an artificial object were bent on subtlety, he argued, we should not expect it to behave loudly. There are more terrestrial reasons to keep watching. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is expected to try for images as 3I Atlas sweeps past. Its high-resolution camera cannot resolve fine detail at interplanetary ranges, but even coarse snapshots from a different vantage could help separate light from the coma and light from the nucleus, tightening constraints on size, activity, and rotation. If this proves to be the first time an interstellar object is imaged from another planet, it will be a milestone not for spectacle, but for context, a triangulation that turns a single-point mystery into a multi-point measurement. Other spacecraft elsewhere in the inner solar system may attempt opportunistic observations as well, extending the net beyond Earth's line of sight. Beyond instruments and acronyms lies geometry. 
3i slash Atlas is diving through our system on a path unusually aligned with the ecliptic, the flattened plane where most planets circle the sun. That makes its course feel intimate, like a stranger choosing the main street rather than a back alley. It will pass near several worlds, skimming by with a kind of deliberate grace that invites interpretation. Some have gone further, noting that when it reaches perihelion, its closest point to the sun, it will be directly behind the solar disk from Earth's perspective. As an observational matter, that simply means glare will limit what we can see during a critical stretch, a commonplace frustration in solar system dynamics. As a narrative device, it is irresistible. If you wanted to alter your speed, change course, or release a fleet of small craft without being noticed from Earth, you could hardly pick better timing than the days you are hidden by the sun. The same geometry, others point out, hands you a power source, for free. Solar energy is abundant near perihelion. If the object were artificial, the opportunity to recharge would be obvious. If it is natural, the opportunity to sublimate is equally clear. We should also consider the broader timeline. Before 2017, no confirmed interstellar object had ever been identified within our reach. Then, 1i slash Oumuamua arrived, comet-like in some ways, asteroid-like in others, a slender enigma that accelerated without an obvious coma. In 2019 came 2i slash Borisov, a more familiar-looking comet with a long tail and a chemistry that still raised eyebrows. And now, 3i slash Atlas. Three in less than a decade could be coincidence. Or it could be the product of improved instruments and sky coverage. As our telescopes widen and deepen their watch, chance becomes discovery with increasing frequency. The cosmos has not grown busier. We have grown better at listening. Yet there are motifs in 3i slash Atlas's story that stick. The suggestion that its inbound vector points roughly from the direction of Sagittarius, a patch of sky associated with famous radio mysteries like the WOW signal, is more poetry than proof. But poetry has its uses. It reminds us that the sky is layered with histories we do not fully understand, and that coincidence by itself is only a prompt to look more closely. The object's path, nearly parallel to the solar system's plane, could be happenstance carved by galactic tides. Its avoidance of Earth is probably nothing more than geometry. Its perihelion occultation by the sun is what happens to many objects each year. To make these facts into intention requires more than intrigue, it requires evidence. Evidence, for now, is climbing the same curve as 3i slash Atlas's speed. Spectroscopy keeps returning the unexpected. Carbon dioxide out of proportion to water vapor. Cyanogen flickering at the margins. Nickel appearing where iron seems missing or masked. The green glow persists without a comfortably identified source. Photometry catches the object in mid-spasm, flat, then flaring, like a sleeper turning over revealing the stress lines of fresh fractures. If CO2 pockets are venting, the outbursts fit a natural picture. Layers laid down under a different star, sintered by time, fractured by heat they have not felt in perhaps a billion years. That picture is rich enough to be satisfying and flexible enough to remain wrong in places, which is where science lives. In the days ahead, Mars will play the role of witness and geometry will play the role of thief, taking the object from our view just when things become most interesting near the end of October. Before the blackout, we will squeeze what we can from every telescope and every algorithm. During it, we will do what watchers always do, wait, model, and argue. After it, we will compare what we expected to what occurred. Perhaps there will be another outburst. Perhaps the brightness will obey the old curve at last. Perhaps the green will fade or intensify. Perhaps the object will shrug off speculation and behave like a comet humbled by a strange childhood, shrugging off its volatiles as it arcs around the sun and heads back to the dark. And if it does something more, if the light changes in a way that suggests intent, or fragments appear in a pattern that defies physics as we understand it, we will recalibrate accordingly. Alien spacecraft is a headline and a hypothesis, but it is not a conclusion. The test of that claim would be in the data. Maneuvers unexplainable by outgassing, energetics incompatible with sunlight, signals carrying structure rather than noise. Short of that, the story we have is thrilling enough, an interstellar traveler of unusual chemistry, brightening in jagged steps, shocking our expectations and sharpening our tools. In the end, 
3i Atlas is a reminder as much as a revelation. It reminds us that our solar system is not a sealed room, but a hallway through which other worlds sometimes pass. It reminds us that our instruments, Earth-based and interplanetary, are powerful enough to catch a traveler mid-stride and still humble enough to force us to admit uncertainty. It reminds us that possibility is not proof and that curiosity is not credulity. Whether 3i Atlas is a comet shaped by alien conditions or something stranger, its presence has already changed us. It has made us recalibrate our models, retune our sensors, revise our assumptions, and rehearse our questions. Soon it will swing past Mars, vanish behind the sun, and then emerge again, dimmer but still itself, carrying the evidence of its passage in spectra and light curves we will pore over for years. Whatever it truly is, it has already done something consequential. It has made us look up with fresh eyes.